I wonder how we a million had been selected. Billions upon billions of others had not. At number 970,101, I had barely made it myself. I wonder how it must have felt to have been number one million of one. Although whatever it is that he's feeling, at least he won't be feeling it for much longer. I can't look anywhere but straight ahead anymore. The people come to see the million off. You know, there's little hope for them. I can't bear the look on their faces. They know how little hope there is for them. They know what fate is in store for them. And yet I just walk by. Ah. <sighs> uh. The tests seem regular. The government did them all the time. An IQ test of 30 questions. A fitness test, 15 minutes. But these ones were different. It wasn't just to see how the world was doing. It was a selectioning process. And it wasn't until just one short week ago when the world found out what that selectioning process was truly for and the plan that the government had concocted. Citizens of Earth, this is a pre-recording. This is the Prime Minister, Jean-Marc Tourbet, President of the World. Alas, I did not pass the test with the flair you did, and therefore I will not be joining you. But it is with great pleasure that I present to you now, the Earth Reborn. I knew what was going on. I knew what to expect. But it wasn't until I finally saw it in that moment that realization sets in. Billions upon billions of dead bodies does wonders for helping things set in. I had known they were planning a mass execution. I wanted to cry out, injustice. But I knew that this was for the bettering of our world. And even now, in a world made only possible by the events of that day, 10 years later, I still wonder, but was what happened on that day right or wrong? I, s I suppose that nothing truly is right or wrong. I suppose that everything just is.